Hi everybody, Mike Aguilo for Student Stock. Uh, want to answer a quick question for you on how to take an image that's pretty large and shrink it down and so that it uh, still looks good to whoever you send it to, email, but it doesn't take a half an hour for them to download. It comes in real quick. We're going to use this image right here. This file is an image that's 50 megs and I'm going to save it on our desktop by doing save as, calling it egg number one and I'm going to save it as a Photoshop file just like it was. I'm now going to save the same file. This is just to show you folks when we're all done here how the sizes have changed. Saving this one as a JPEG number two as a JPEG. And since I had done it before, I'm going to replace it. So there we go. Maximum size. And we'll take a look. And there we have the two files right here. And I'm going to show you how you take these files and take a look at what size they are. This egg number one, the original file, command I, says it's a 18.5 megabyte file when it's saved as a Photoshop file. Now you saw when it was open, it was 50 megs, and that's because that's Photoshop using all those pixels. In, um, when you save it as a Photoshop file on your desktop though, it reduces the file size but doesn't lose any of the data. Here's the one I saved as a JPEG, the 50 meg file, and you can see it has shrunk to 3.6 megs, but I still consider that a little too large. So the last thing we're going to do is take this image and shrink it down by going to image, image size, and we're going to change the resolution from 300 to screen resolution, which is 72, which is going to turn it into a 2.9 megabyte file. You can see there it is, it's smaller, but if I make it larger on the screen, it still looks pretty good. I'll save this one as egg number three as a JPEG file on the desktop. We'll take a look at all three of those now. Here's the third one, Command I, and you can see that this file has now 451K. It's, not, it's only a half of a megabyte in size. That's the one you're gonna wanna send to whoever you wanna send it to. The only last thing I wanna show you is in Photoshop, I'm gonna reopen this one is my original file. I'm going to zoom in really close and you can see that the resolution on this image looks great and it would be fine if you were making a large print. Here's the JPEG one that you would be sending to your friends. Look at the resolution there. You can see the pixelation. Here they are side by side. And you can see how much more pixelated this image is between that and that. That's what JPEGs do. Send that file very quickly to anybody. It won't take very much time for them to open. They'll appreciate it. That's it for right now. Mike Aguilo for Student Stock. Thanks for watching.